Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Fashion Fanatic. I have a sister channel, Purse Fanatic, as well. This video will be downloaded to both channels, so if you're interested in um, anything related to purses, you can always check this out on my Purse Fanatic channel. The Fashion Fanatic channel, I do purses uh, as well as looking at you know fashion in general. Um, I do a lot of reviews on Ugg boots, so that's another channel that if you're interested in that, you can take a look at that. I would definitely say if you are interested in either channel, you should probably subscribe below. Therefore, you can be updated on any videos that I put out. I usually put out a video once a week, so that way you can be notified when those videos come out. So today I will be doing an unboxing of an item that I did purchase online. It is actually vintage because unfortunately, as we all know, Louis Vuitton has a lot of items that are out of stock. And it's pretty much, you know, related to the COVID pandemic. I don't think they're making as much because they don't have the workers there um, making these bags. So this bag here, I did want it because um, it's pretty versatile and I can use it either, you know, as a piece to put inside of bags that I already have here. So you see I have these here and I just want to see how they look and if they fit into these different bags. But um, basically, it's a piece that you can put inside of it or you can try to wear also as an actual bag. Now, although it's not marketed as a, a actual Louis Vuitton bag, a lot of people wear it as a Louis Vuitton bag and they have converted it into a crossbody bag, which I plan to do. I probably will also do a video on that, uh, me converting it into uh, a crossbody and what you need to do and how it looks. So today's um, video will be on the Louis Vuitton toiletry 19 um uh i don't know if you would call it a bag or you know um just a uh, accessory piece so i did purchase it vintage of course because um i just had a difficult time finding it in general the difference between the one you can purchase online and the vintage is that with this one, there is not an orange piece at the end of the zipper. They usually have like an orange leather piece. This one does not have that. So this will be my first time seeing this bag. Um, so we will be seeing it for the first time both together. So we will see how it looks. I will also um, look at, you know, what items can fit into the bag as well. So I have some things over here and we can see what it fits. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open this up. So here it is. This is the toiletry 19 bag here. So I did decide to go with the 19 because I kind of felt like it would be um, better for a crossbody if I was to convert it into a crossbody. I have seen people convert the 26 into a crossbody. It just looked a little bit more bulky than I would like. So this to me is, is just very petite and I think it would definitely be cute. Um, if I convert it into a crossbody. So that's why I decided to go with this one. So we'll go ahead and take it out. All right. So you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. This portion here, because this is vintage, does not have the orange leather kind of a circular tip at the end. So these, that's how you know it's more of a vintage and older bag. The newer ones have the orange tip. But overall, the bag to me looks very nice. Um, and I think it's very cute. So very, very small. Um, close and open it. So what I would do is let's see what we can get into it. It is tiny. It's very, very tiny. So I don't know how much actually can get into this one here. 
but we will try it out and we will see. All right, so I do have a few things here. So this is a comb, probably not gonna fit. <laughs> so we're gonna take that out, all right? All right, so let's try a wallet I have here. So let's see here. All right, so yep, that fits in there pretty well. And, you know, of course you'll be able to, I and mean, this is really kind of like a makeup purse anyway. So of course you'll be able to get some lipsticks in there. Um, I also have like a nail file that fits. I have my uh, MAC eyeshadow, which I think is gonna fit. Um, mirror, okay, cute, gonna fit. And perhaps one more thing. This, uh, yeah, this, I have to kind of manipulate, but this is like my perfume, my coach perfume holder. So really, I'm, I'm kind of, it's tight fit, but I would say, eh, probably, ooh, and that's, this is kind of, kind of close here, yeah. So it's, it's pretty kind of a tight fit with those things here, and you see I kind of, the shape is kind of funky. So, so I, I would say you can get some things, you know, in here, but you got, it's just not going to be fit a whole lot. Okay. And you don't want to be trying to stretch your purse too much. So, um, yeah, I think the basics probably would just be either, like I guess it's a makeup mirror and one kind of wallet piece. And so I had one wallet in here or like I said, or the perfume, you have to pick and choose, but you're not going to get everything in this purse. Very tiny, very little, very petite. Um, so I'll just take out what I had in here. Like I said, this is a wallet. This is uh, a few lipsticks here. Mirror, eyeshadow, and that's a nail file. But I think that's the extent it's going to be going in there. You're not going to probably get a big old wallet. Well, you could get this in here. Uh, I guess you could. This is like a card wallet. So I guess you could get this in here. It, it, it fits in there tight. But again, like I said, only one wallet and then you can add maybe some makeup and nail file. But I don't think you're going to be getting multiple wallets in here. Um, this is an umbrella, small umbrella. Nope, that's not happening. Sunglasses. Probably not. Let me see if I take them out. These are my sunglasses here. Yeah, you could probably get it in without a case. Um, but you definitely wouldn't be able to get it in with a case. So we'll put that in there. So we'll take those out. Those fit. I have kind of like a bigger wallet here. <laughs> That's not going to happen. You see? That's going to, yeah. So this is, if you're looking at a wallet too big, it's not going to fit. And I have one other wallet. This is like the average kind of like wallet size here. The other one was a cart. That's not going to happen. So a very tiny wallet is probably you're going to be your best bet for this wonderful piece here. I do want to give you guys like a dimension uh, size here so you can take a look and have an idea. But you see here, this is a ruler this is half of a foot ruler six inches so six inches there and add a little bit here probably seven inches for the length and then for the height not quite six inches maybe about five inches um and definitely and that's why you're not going to get a whole lot in here is because you may have an inch here if that so that's what the biggest thing is. With you only get an inch. So like six by five with the width, with an inch width. So okay. So I think that is the extent of what can go in it. Now we want to see what it's or what purses can this actually fit into. So I'm gonna put some the items back in here really quickly. And we'll close it up because this is what you'll probably have in it. And then we'll close it up here. And we want to get an idea of um, 
My biggest thing was I have a 25 Louis. I want to see if it's going to fit in my 25. I'm sure it'll fit in my 30, but this is my 25 Louis. I had um, or I've done a video on what can fit in this bag. If you want to check that out also on my channel, Fashion Fanatic or Purse Fanatic, you can check that out. But um, not a lot of things can fit in here because it is um, limited as well with the actual length of the purse. So that's why I really, that was my, my big question of the day. Will this fit into a 25? So let's see. Let's see. Yes. And it fits. Okay. So if you're looking to see if you get a 19, will it fit in here? It fits wonderfully. Now, I don't know if the 26, probably not. So if you're looking to try to get kind of a bag, um, toilet your bag to fit in here. I don't think the 26 is going to do it. So you would definitely have to go 19 or smaller. So so I guess there's really no need to try on my 30 because it fits the 25. And then I thought this would just be a definite accessory because this bag, you see, it's like a bottomless pit. <laughs> it has no kind of like structure. So this I think is perfect. This type of bag is perfect for this here. Now, a lot of people um, actually buy the um organizers to go in here sometimes those organizers can be very bulky they'd be you know add a lot of weight to your bag and so for me i think this is probably going to be a better option than the big old organizer i can just take it put these the, my major things that i like in here like my makeup wallet this type of thing those are the things that i use every day and then put it in there so i think this is definitely a great accessory to uh, a never fool okay all right, so I am going to actually model this purse. Well, I don't say purse, but accessory. So you can see how it looks as a clutch bag. And then um, you can decide if it's something you're interested in or not based on that. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back with the Toiletry 19 Louis Vuitton bag. This here, as you can see, is the medium size toiletry bag. It does come in the 26, which is a little bit bigger. So... As you can see with this here, um, as a clutch bag, it is a little bit smaller than what I would probably use as a clutch bag, but it's still cute and it can be worn as a clutch bag. I think it would be great, you know, if you're going to go out to a club and you just want something really small, really tiny, and you don't want to be carrying a whole lot of stuff in the club, then this is perfect. I think the 26 definitely probably would look better though as a clutch bag, but it's still cute. The reason I did go with this one, though, is not because I was looking for a clutch bag. I have clutch bags, but because I thought it would be so cute as a crossbody bag. So if you see, I would probably have it like sitting on my hip right here. And I plan to get like a gold strap and the piece that goes in here so that you can connect it and you can't wear it as a crossbody. So I think the 26 will probably be a little bit bulky as crossbody. And that's why I decided to go with the 19. So as you can see here, you can wear it up here under your arms okay if you want to do it as a clutch or you can also wear it kind of just holding like the strap here at the end kind of wear it like that so it's very versatile or you can just use this toiletry bag to put inside your bigger purse or inside of a smaller purse so whatever you choose uh to do with it um, i like that you have a lot of different options with this purse here so hopefully this video was informative and I will be doing other videos um, uh, similar to this, purse reviews, uh, things of that nature. Also, anything kind of like fashion related, since I love both purses and fashion, I will also be doing that on my uh, channel, Fashion Fanatic. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe below and you will be notified every time I do a new video. I will be doing videos every week. So that way you will know when my next one is coming out. So definitely, if you like the video, also hit the like button below. And you guys, I will see you next time. Take care. Have a great day.